A prayer request from Chris Henderson for my grandfather and grandmother. He's taking care of my grandmother uh, that is going through the middle stages of Alzheimer's. He's strong, but I can see how it's F. Yeah. If affecting him, I think maybe is where you were going to go with that. But I think F too is just works. So we're going to pray for Chris's grandparents. Absolutely, Chris. God bless you. You know, along that line, we were talking about something. We were talking about something today uh, in our prayer group. Uh, and it's something that's been on my, my mind for uh, a little while. And it wasn't something I was planning on talking about today, but we will. Because why not? Um, it's those moments when, when you wonder where God is. I think we've all had those moments. I, I certainly have. Um, okay, here I am, Lord. You told me you'd always be with me, Lord. You know, that's one of my favorite passages, Lord, from Joshua. I will always be with you. Be bold and courageous. Well, I'm trying, man, but where are you? I don't see you. I need you. This is crushing me. I have no idea what I'm doing here. You know, you get to that place where you got nothing left, nothing left at all. Everybody's taking from you. Everybody is challenging you. Everybody is asking you questions. Everybody is, is siphoning your life force from you. That's how it feels, right? You don't know how you're going to wake up in the morning. You don't know how you're going to stand up if you do. You certainly don't know how you're going to operate, how you're going to function at a high level like we all want to do. We're just worn out, right? We're worn out and we hear those old, tired cliches. God is with you. God is beside you. God will take care of you. God will keep you safe. I don't feel very safe. I don't feel very provided for. I don't feel like there's anybody around me, let alone God. I feel absolutely alone. It happens. I ha- it happens to me all the time. I'm not lying to you. That does. It happens to me. It happens to me a lot. Sometimes in those moments when it feels like the world is taking from us and taking from us and taking from us and taking from us, when we're taking care of somebody, even we love them with all of our hearts, but it's frustrating. It's irritating. It's exhausting. I love you, but I don't know how I can keep doing this. And we can get angry with God. And, and, and for what it's worth, I'm going to stop there for a second. It's okay to get angry with God. I would argue it is healthy to get angry with God because in our anger, we ask questions. And you all know how much I love asking questions of the divine. We get angry, we ask questions, we challenge, we demand answers. There's a passion to it. And there's an honesty and a sincerity to it. There's an authenticity that it's only found in those moments of, of struggle, those moments of exhaustion, right? When we're calling out. So we were talking in our prayer group today about that. And we were asking, you know, we were, we were thinking about the folks down in, in the southern U.S., those folks who we're going to read a psalm today, and that psalm's going to be challenging. Like the language of that psalm is going to be really challenging and, and rightfully so. When you find yourself in that place and you don't know where God is, you find that yourself in that place where you, you seem to be providing for everybody, where you seem to be taking care of everybody, where you seem to be the one that everybody is going to, When you are exhausted and you're frustrated and you're sick and tired of people coming to you and you wish just for a second, just for a change that that they would come and give to you. If you want to see God in that moment, if you want to see Christ in that moment, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror because you're probably going to see Christ looking back at you. That face you see. I'm not talking about Jesus over your shoulder. I'm talking about the face you see when you look in the mirror. That's going to be Christ looking back. Because you're Christ for all those people that you're looking after. 
All those people who exhaust you, all those people who frustrate you, all those people who irritate you, you are a Christ figure for them. You're a person who's keeping them together. You're a person who is providing them a certain level of salvation from that moment, from that reality. You're the one that they're counting on. You're the one that they're looking up to. You're the one that they're calling out for. You're a Christ figure in that. I'm not saying this because I'm trying to make you feel better. I'm not. I'm not saying this because I'm trying to, oh, you know what, then yeah, okay, I see what you're saying, Ed. I'm not going to, you know what, then I shouldn't be frustrated. No, you should. Oh, well, I, I shouldn't be exhausted. Well, yeah, yeah, you should be exhausted. I shouldn't be irritated. For sure you should be irritated. Oh, well, I, I, I shouldn't want people to, <clears throat> to leave me alone. No, you, you should. Look at Jesus' story. Wasn't he frustrated? Wasn't he tired? Didn't he call out to God saying, where are you? Didn't he ask God to say, take this from me? Yes. Right? This is a normal and natural reaction for a Christ figure. These are normal and natural reactions, feelings for a Christ figure. I am tired and I'm afraid and I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I'm not even certain I know what it is that I'm doing. Lord, if you can take this from me, take it from me. Why, Lord, have you abandoned me? Why have you forsaken me in this? Why am I so alone in this? Jesus felt this way too. Again, I'm not telling you this because I want you to, oh, well, I guess it's okay then. I'm telling you this because you're not alone. Jesus went through it too. Many of us go through it. You're not alone. So Chris, your granddad, share our blessings with him. Tell him how much we love him. Tell him how much we are with him. Tell him that we wish we can support him and hold him up. Tell your grandma that that we love her and that we're praying for her. Please share that Please share with them that they're not alone, that there are people all over the world who are walking with them. And this goes for all the people that everyone here shares in the prayer requests. For those of you who are praying, for those of you who bring them forward and say, hey, can I, can I ask a prayer? For those people, you are, that's who you are for them in this moment. Again, coming back to it, a royal priesthood. A priesthood of believers. That's what you are. A priesthood of Christ figures. Amen.